This is not a sensationalist local news story, but your cell phone might be killing you. More at 11. Actually, what's going on is uh, a, a phenomenon called text neck. So a lot of times people are looking down at their phones, myself included, and you may think it's harmless hunching over, but it, it can be pretty bad for you. So the weight on the cervical spine begins to increase the more degree tilt you have over your phone or whatever you're looking down at. At a 15 degree angle, the weight is 27 pounds. At a 30 degree angle, it's 40 pounds. At 45 degrees, it's 49 pounds. And at 60 degrees, it's 60 pounds on your neck. That is a lot. That is like having a little kid wrapped around your shoulders, except for all the biting and kicking and pooping and like making a mess. But Still pretty this bad. is a lot of pressure on your neck. And it worries me because I spend so much time looking at my phone and not even thinking about it. Yeah. I think we were saying earlier that like we were reading the article on our phones and that as I read it, you reading, just slowly reading more. straighten up your spine yes. to account for it. As someone um, who has broken their neck, um, I, uh, yeah. this is something I've been very well aware of for a very long time. Um, physical therapists have been talking to me about this for about seven years now. Um, this is something that people are going into for therapy. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of things are the way we actually even hold our phone. Um, a lot of times it's the way we hold video game controllers even. like. You know, you've got your phone um, and you hold it down, right? You look. Another thing that people do is they'll use their, their pinky as a cradle. Um, like I do it a lot with my, I'm, I'm just gonna do like, with my 3DS. Like what I'll do is I'll, I'll use Special this finger as, as, a, as an anchor, right? To hold it up. The problem is, is like this is a major nerve that goes through your body and it goes all the way up through your neck. It creates massive, massive nerve damage. Um, in your body. So you have to be really careful. Um, it's something that I've learned while playing is just to be, you know, gaming with your, you know, if you're on your phone, whatever, you just, you hold it up. Um, if you can use voice technology, you know, like voice dictation, you should be utilizing that as much as possible. I do all the time. Um, I, I put an apology, like, sorry, this was dictated, not not text. So Yeah, that's how I got that crazy text from Yes, me. exactly. <laughs> like and sometimes it's not insane, but they're just text messages. <laughs> um, but if you can do that, do as ergonomically as possible, it really is a serious thing. And, and I mean, yeah, you got to be careful. It's not something people are making up. It's not some sensational story. And I just encourage everyone to, to look at, the, at what they're doing with their technology far more ergonomically. I'm trying so hard right now. To, to sit up straight and and not bend my neck too much, mm -hmm. but it's oh, it's so hard to to literally just get it out of my head. It is. Um, I've also read that poor posture is uh, can lead to spinal problems and also Absolutely. reducing your lung capacity and headaches and neurological issues. Yes, I'm trying so hard. It's something I guess you have to learn. You mm -hmm. form different habits. Well, and, uh, and a lot of it's too about breaking habits. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a big thing. Is you know when we hold a game controller. You know, we're hunched in like this. Like the whole time you're playing like this. Your your shoulders are turned in, your arms That's are in, exactly you're looking down. That's exactly how I sit. You can't, you can't do that. You really have to like sit back and you have to play and like you have to be more like this. I mean, it's just, you just have to train yourself to, to do it that way. Do gaming chairs help? Absolutely. I just, I just got a new gaming chair from a DX Racer mm -hmm. and it's awesome. Like ergonomically speaking, it's, it's perfect for your body and it's, Changed the hours in which I can game. I can game far longer because of it. Mm, that's a Chairs point. really make a difference. There's just little things I you can, can do to improve your life. I can game for pretty long. It's just I'm apparently hurting my body. You are. Oh, yes. I know I am. Yeah. Just, just wait for a couple of years. I know I'm just like going on about it, but I'm telling you, like this has been so much of my life that I've dealt with, like in trying to recover from injuries. So if I can like give anyone advice, just. Mm -hmm. Just l listen to what this article is saying. Like, listen to you know, listen to your body. Feel like the way it hurts. Feel like the tension will really start hitting in your in your neck. You, you'll start feeling it a lot in your, in your back, in the back of your shoulders. It's making sometimes so much you can sense feel now. it in your in your spine. It'll get referred pain down your bottom, um, the bottom of your spine. You'll get a lot of it down there. Sometimes you'll feel it in the car. Um, so you just you just the older you get, you just have to be careful about your body. And the technology that we have is like, it's hurting us because it wasn't designed it thinking about our bodies. It was designed for convenience. It mm -hmm. wasn't designed for, you know. I'm, so, I'm on my phone so much. Like I'll, I'll whip it out and like look at, a, like look things up that I hear and, or try to learn things or text or, mm -hmm. but so there are some tips to avoid pain uh, besides what you said, which is 
keep yourself straight. This is how you sit when you're gaming. Try to get a gaming chair. Uh, there's also don't bend your neck when you're looking down. Just look down. Mm -hmm. Also, you may want to exercise your neck a little bit. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Always exercise. Like stretching your neck is one of the biggest well, things. Well, I don't want to, I don't yeah. mean like hyperextend. Oh yeah, you have to be very <laughs> Don't careful. do that. But um, one of the best things to do is set a timer that you stretch your neck every hour. I do that. I'm a total dork, but it helps me with my therapy with with what with my injury. Mm -hmm. So you just do little neck stretches, but don't overdo it. Like what Kim said, just be really careful. Set a timer on your phone. Use that phone to get rid of text. But now. use <laughs> use your voice to set a timer on your phone, or <laughs> yes. look at it and not not yeah. no don't do that. Yes. Uh, this is crazy. I just didn't really think about it, but that's an enormous amount, pounds of pressure on your mm -hmm. spine from the angle of your neck. Mm -hmm. Something to be wary of. Uh, let us know what you think below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe and come back next time. <laughs>